Hey, what's going on everybody? Today I wanted to review these fantastic new headphones I got. They're the Sony WH-1000XM4s. I don't know what it is with these companies and the numbers and letters, but we're gonna go with that name, I guess. It's like every product that comes out, the brand new Sony 11279XM4 45 LMNO. Anyway, these things are fantastic. I'm gonna talk about kind of my user experience buying them, some of my favorite features. I hope you enjoy. First impressions on these guys. They have a really nice case. They feel nice and compact. I feel like the case is actually gonna protect them, which is a big plus for me. I would hate to invest so much money in a pair of headphones and something happened to them. I love the color. I love this midnight blue. You can also get them in black or this beautiful beige tan color. When I pull them out of the case, the first thing I notice is how light they are. But here's one of my big things that I don't like about the Bose headphones. They feel really flimsy to me. These somehow found the mark between being really light, but also feeling really sturdy. It's like they're floating on your head. They're amazing. They're really, really comfortable. They have these giant pads, um, a little bit bigger than the XM3, which is the model before these. And I feel like I could wear these all day, which is great. The noise canceling is stupid good. It's amazing. So these feature the brand new HD QN1 chip. These will actually calculate the atmospheric pressure in the room and compensate based on that. There's also personal noise canceling optimization. It'll measure your hair, it'll measure your head shape, your ears. I literally took a picture of my ears and sent that to Sony. They upload it to their servers and it'll change your profile based on your ear shape. So this is really cool, I wanna explain this. So the reason humans can hear where sounds are coming from is because of our ears. If we didn't have these, these lobes on the outside of our head, we wouldn't be able to tell which direction a sound is coming from. Think about a sound that happens in front of you versus a sound that happens behind you. The one behind you is gonna sound different because A, it's hitting your head, it's reflecting off walls differently, and it's also hitting your earlobe here, and that's actually filtering that sound before it gets to your ear. So we have great noise canceling. We have the personal noise canceling optimization, which is fantastic. I did it, it sounds great. And it also has adaptive noise control. And what that means is it'll respond differently to different environments and also your actions. So if you're sitting at home, there's no noise going on, you want like total silence, it'll totally block out any ambient sound. If you get up and walk, it actually lets in a little bit of ambient sound so that you can kind of navigate, maybe you need to talk to somebody, maybe you need to hear your surroundings a little bit more because you're walking around in the city, and you can customize all of that in the app, which is fantastic as well. These also have Bluetooth 5.0, which lets you connect to two devices at the same time. Super solid connection, um, really cool, so I can be connected to my phone and my computer at the same time. If I get a call, it'll connect to the phone. If I wanna play something on YouTube, it'll play on my computer. These also have the DSEE HX Extreme TM Digital Sound Enhancement Engine. What they claim that that does is it uncompresses MP3s, which is impossible. You can't actually do that. Something is compressed, it's compressed. But what you can do is you can analyze the waveform, kind of like what Isotopes plugins do sometimes. Analyze the waveform and change the shape afterwards based on the information that you have in that compressed waveform. And what Sony says on their website is that they will actually process different genres differently and they will kind of fix that waveform in different ways for those different genres. So whether it totally works perfectly or not, um, it does sound better. So if you listen to an MP3 without the DSEE versus MP3 with the DSEE, it just sounds a little bit more natural, a little bit less crunchy. The highs come back, it just sounds a little bit nicer. They're super vague about it on the website, but fuck it, it sounds expensive. So let's talk about the 360 audio, which is one of my favorite features. Basically what Sony has figured out is a way to emulate what your ear does when you're listening to music in a room and make it sound like stuff is surrounding you, sound is surrounding you when you're wearing the headphones. It's something that headphones can't really do because you're isolating your ears from the actual room that you're in. So a couple of other little features that these have, one of them is the response when you take them off your head, they stop playing, they pause the music. You also have a touch control on the side here. It does a few different things. So you can turn the volume up and down just by swiping like this. You can go to the next track and previous track. 
And one of the coolest things, if you have the noise canceling on, but you need to hear somebody talking to you, you can just put your hand over the ear and it'll start letting an ambient sound. Super cool. So all in all, these are an awesome pair of headphones. They run about 350 and they seem to have more features than the previous model, which is the XM3, um, not only in comfort and sound, but also the noise canceling chip is new and improved. And like I said, best in its class right now. So highly recommended. I tried a bunch of different headphones in the store the other day, and these were by far the most comfortable, best sounding, one of my favorite purchases I've ever made. So I hope that was helpful in your headphone hunt. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments and I'll definitely leave some links to both this model and the XM3 down below. So, thanks for watching.